Kevin. What has it been like being back here at High Corbett Field? It's been great. Uh, it's nice to see, you know, the facility. And uh, so much has changed since I've been back. Um, you know, just walking through the clubhouse, seeing Coach Hale, um, talking to some of the people here. Um, you know, it's, it's just a great environment. And I, I had such a blast here when I was here. When you stepped onto the mound to throw the first pitch, did all the memories come flooding back? <laughs> a little bit. Um, you know, it was cool to be on that mound and just see the backdrop, see the amount of fans that were here. Um, and obviously, I, I love playing against Arizona State, too. So um, it was fun. It was nice to be back. And uh, yeah, I've never done a first pitch before. So now I've got that under my belt. Yeah, it's kind of funny that they have a pitcher throw a first pitch, right? Yeah. Um, how did this all come together to have you come back down here to do this? Um, well, I got to thank a lot of people. I mean, I had uh, Brian Despain um, and then Doug Barsano. So two of those guys helped kind of uh, pave this for me and, and kind of get my foot in the door with this. And um, it's just cool to see the outpour with a lot of the fans here. And, uh, you know, people love sports here. They love baseball. We've got a rich, rich history here, too. So um, it's just it's nice to uh, be back here. And it, it was a long time coming. When you think about the Territorial Cup Series, what comes to mind? Um, they're, they're tough games. Uh, you know, both, both teams want to win. Um, you know, I, I feel like we've kind of had our run with it uh, last, last couple of years, uh, not just in baseball, but in, in football and in basketball, obviously. So um, we take it very, very seriously. So it's cool to, it's cool to see, see these two teams playing. From getting sent down to the minors last June to becoming an X-Factor in the World Series run, how do you reflect on the last year? Uh, you know, it, it was exciting. It was a fun It was a fun year, uh, a lot of ups and downs. Um, that's just part of the job. That's just, you know, my, my journey, I guess. And so I embraced it, you know, I just kind of had to, you know, keep going and not really pay too much attention to what other decisions were going on that were out of my control. And, um, you know, I just wanted to go out and do my job and be the best version of myself. So. What did you learn about yourself? Uh, be more patient. Um, you know, not expect results right away. Um, and enjoy, enjoy the little things, you know, being, being more present with my teammates, uh, you know, with my family and stuff as much as I can when I'm on the road. Um, and know that I'm, I'm doing something that I love to do. And, um, you know, not everybody gets to the level that you get to. So, Is that the mindset you're bringing into this season then? Uh, a little bit, but I think now, you know, I, I, I feel like we're, we're a different team now. I feel like we're, um, you know, we're going to be the, hunt, the hunted, I guess. And so a lot of people are going to be, want, you know, want to give us their best effort. And so it just has to elevate my game and, you know, the rest of the team. So I'll be ready. Absolutely. How has spring training gone for you so far? Great. Great. Uh, I've thrown in a few games so far. Um, ball's been coming out well. And, um, you know, we got you know, game one, I think, in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. So we play Colorado. And uh, I'm excited. You know, I think last year was fun. And, you know, the goal is now that I want to get back to the postseason and uh, see if we can go win it all. Absolutely. How's your elbow doing? Elbow's good. Elbow's good. Just had to take a few days to make sure everything was feeling all right and uh, got some rest. and. I think that's a thing of the past. So. Pretty similar bullpen in terms of guys coming back from the World Series team. Does that give you guys more confidence as you go into this season? Um, I think it gives us confidence. I think knowing that, you know, having the same people back, I think, gives a level of comfort and knowing, like, all right, I can, you know, get to know my, my teammates more and be around them more. Um, and so, you know, in the past, it wasn't necessarily like that. And so now, Having you know a nucleus of guys is gonna help, is gonna help so much, and you know we're more of a veteran bullpen now, which is good. Just going through the playoffs and going through that stre those stretch of games, I think built us and made us closer together. So, are you going to be in a similar role as a setup man like you were last year? Uh, I got to think so, but uh, that's like I said, that's out of my control. Um, you know, I think uh, whatever Tory or the front office has me do, I'll be ready for. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, at the end of the day, all I, all I want to do is win. So that's how I'm looking at it. A couple more for you. Uh, what are you most looking forward to about opening day? Uh, seeing the fans. Uh, I think we'll have a good-sized good, good -sized crowd for those games. Um, I know we play Colorado, and then the Yankees will be a great series. So it um, should be 
pretty fun, wild uh, first six games, I think, at home. So I'm looking forward to it. And then just going back to this being the end of the Pac-12, uh, yeah. what are your thoughts on the conference coming to an end? Uh, it's weird. You know, I've talked about it with a lot of my teammates um, and then buddies from college. It's, it's going to be a little different. Uh, you know, I think now they're moving to the Big 12 along with Arizona State. Um, so it's it's going to be a little bit strange. I don't know how to wrap my head around it now with, you know, all the NIL deals and stuff going on. It's just different time than when I went to school. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll see. I don't know. I'd like to think that's for the best, but I, you, know, you don't know. Anything else you want to add? That's it. Thank you, Kevin.